It's time for this week's Uplift. Three ordinary guys that want you to find the freedom that is available by knowing our Lord Jesus Christ. So sit back and enjoy Uplift, brought to you by the Fulcrum Center. Visit our site at thefulcrumcenter.org. Well, good evening. And here we are again. I know. <laughs> we're missing Phil again. I know. I mean, you know, like we, we're always a, a, a loose wheel off or something, you know. There's always something. <laughs> we're always missing a piece of the puzzle. I know, but but it, Phil's been gone too many times. Right. We're missing Phil. That's right. A lot. Yeah, we do miss Phil when he's not here. We sure do. Phil, we miss you, man. Yeah. He's like the walking Bible. Like, uh, yeah, I know. It, if you ever need to know a reference, all you got to do is just give a few words, mm-hmm. right? Yep. And he will jump on it. He knows it. It's a real God thing. It's it pretty is. cool to watch. It is. And see, he he let out his secret, though, when, he's, <laughs> when, he, was, when he preached his message last week. He said, the go, go eat. Go eat. Uh, I don't even remember what it was. See, like that's how bad I am. Like I have no memory left. But go eat. Go eat peach something, or you know, like it was Galatians, Ephesians. Yeah. Yeah. Like I don't Philippians. know. Philippians. Yeah, Philippians. Galatians, Ephesians. Yeah. Go eat cream. Go eat. Go eat peach cream. That's it. Okay. There you go. See, like I can't even remember that very simple, uh, you know, cheat. But that's okay. <laughs> Because Phil doesn't even need it. Like, he was just, tr- you know, like know. he was trying to n- not show off. But that's all right. Phil, we miss you. We do. We're looking forward to you back next week. So I'm Chad Absolutely. McLeish. I'm Ian Thornton. And we're glad you're here. And tonight we're going to talk about the build-up. The build-up. So get ready to get uplifted. Uplifted. Encouraged. Yep. And share some practical things on what we're going to be talking about concerning the build-up. The build-up. Yeah. So, yeah, this came to us. We were talking off camera for a long time tonight. We were just kind of getting warmed up for this. But we're, we're really talking about, you know, um, new people and, 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 and new people being Christians and things. And it really right. sparked it at work. I was really thinking about it at work today because there was a situation where we've got a relatively new person hmm. doing some relatively technical things. And, you know, they're they're kind of struggling through. So we're, we're partnering a person who's been around for a long time, okay. very wise and very good at what they do. So we're partnering them with them oh. to build them up. So yeah. because the situation was at a crossroads with this young person to where we had some uh, people who've been around for a long time frustrated because this person wasn't giving them good information, accurate information that they needed. Hmm. And so I was like, I kind of turned the tables and was like, guys, you've been doing this for a long time. Like, we need to train these young people up. So right. we're not going to be here doing this forever. Right. Like, we need to train up the next generation. Hmm. We've got all this knowledge. We can't be frustrated when these young people don't have the knowledge. So this was in a work business situation. Yeah. But we can make this... Uh, very applicable in the Christian walk. Oh man, absolutely! And you know, it's it's neat for you to bring up that real life example because it's like it's one of the things that I've been talking to to my son about is going, "Hey man, I'm going to teach you how to wash our cars." <laughs> you know, right. there again, really practical because I don't always have time to get them washed. Right. You know, just that kind of stuff. But it really is training up. It's mm-hmm. it's train, and you said it too, Chad. You know, training up this next generation. Yep. And and it's some things that that we are all seeing in in the Christian realm that there is this s- surge. I'll put it that way. This surge that's happening in young people, mm-hmm. and and they are picking up steam, mm-hmm. and they are looking through and and cutting through all of the religious organizational type things Mm -hmm. and they're going for relationship Mm -hmm. and it doesn't look like what we grew up with right and it looks different Mm -hmm. but man these kids are on fire right they really are Mm -hmm. um but then at the same time you know god's talking to us about discipleship and Mm -hmm. training up and we're even doing workshops on on different things, right. you know, and the spiritual warfare workshop is is the one that I'm that I'm referencing. Right. Um, but it's just about training up and building up to get ready for what God has called each one of us into. But it also at points, what's coming? Right. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, so we're called to prepare people. So, we like, are. if you've been doing this a long time and you've been in your walk for a long time with, and have your relationship with the Lord and everything, you're being called at this point to kind of mentor, train, come alongside with um, right younger or newer people. You know, like the the the, the new person might be seventy five years old. <laughs> right. <laughs> you know? That's okay. That's they exactly might be right. older than you, but that's okay because it's like it's a it's a it's a maturity. It's a it's a it's you know there have been there's young people who've been walking this walk for a relatively long time. Mm -hmm. There's older people in a, in terms of age, physical age, that are brand new to this, yeah. and and so it's like you've got all these different things, and that's okay. Yeah. But like if you've got a good solid relationship and you've got a good solid understanding, and you know you know. You know, you know your Bible, and 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 you've got that relationship. You're, I feel like we're all going to be called to mentor and give practical advice to relatively new people. So we just have to be open to it. It's a it's a choice. Yeah. To be open to do that. Mm -hmm. And sometimes when you've had a long day, like I witnessed today, we've had some people. I witnessed people. There was two trains of thought. There was people who've been doing this for a long time who were frustrated because. They were like, man, like I'm, I'm just, I need this information, and I'm not getting it. And they were frustrated because they felt held back. And then there was another person who's been doing it for a long time in this business technical sense. And then, but they're like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll walk alongside this mm. person and teach them up. It was a, it was a choice. Yeah, it was a choice. So it's like we want to be open. In our choices and our mindsets, we want to be open to walk alongside these people and to build build them up so that they can be our peers. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's uh, strength in numbers. Right. You know, and, mm -hmm. and it really that's, you know, God is, is he sent Christ in, in, in the end of Matthew, which we all know is the Great Commission, is Matthew 28, 18. Mm -hmm. And Jesus said to you, all authority in heaven has been, been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples mm -hmm. of all nations. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, even as just believers and, and disciples of Christ ourselves, mm -hmm. Jesus is looking at us and telling us, go make disciples. Right. Mm -hmm. Go build up. Go walk alongside. Go help. Go mm -hmm. and, and get ready for, for the things that are coming. Right. You know, and, and that's part of it, too. It's like, you know, to, to be able to... Um, share the different things that, that God has taught us and shared with us, e even individually, but to be able to to pass that information along. And, and it doesn't matter the age. Mm -hmm. So it's like, you know, when, when you were talking about that earlier, Chad, I was thinking about the, the last workshop that we were at. There was a, a row of ladies that were sitting there with pens and paper, and I mean, man, just taking notes and taking notes. Mm -hmm. And they were all almost 80 mm -hmm. or over 80 right you know mm -hmm. but they're just sitting there and they're just absorbing all of that stuff because there's that relationship that they have with the lord that they want to deepen right and they want to learn more because mm -hmm. they want to be even more effective mm -hmm. for christ and where god's put them in life right mm -hmm. but yeah we're called to go make disciples and we're called to build one another up to mm -hmm. encourage one another to walk alongside one another you know even in, in the the earliest stages of the disciples for them to work together mm -hmm. Jesus sent them out two by two mm -hmm. but it's about together work right. mm -hmm. build grow move right get ready for the next right like one thing that you know like God did talk to me a lot about over the past year or so was like you know like Ian and Phil were both pastors of our church at different points like Phil is the current pastor of our church Ian was the pastor of this church and, you know, God's like, you enjoy sitting and listening to them, don't you? And I'm like, yeah. You know, like, they they, they make you feel good uh, on Sunday and get you ready for the week. And I'm like, yeah. And God's like, you need to be their peer. Not be a pastor. Right. But you need these guys, these pa your pastors, whatever church you go to or whatever, your pastor might be a really special, might be really gifted, may be anointed, um, be really good, have a great relationship with the Lord and all these things, be very mature. But you can't just sit back and 
feed off of them forever. Mm. You know, like this right. is not a movie theater. Like I think I've said that here before. This is not a movie. Like yeah. you know, like you know, like Tom Cruise. I, I can't just sit and watch Tom Cruise up there on that film, uh, on that screen, like for the rest of my life. Like I, at some point, like we gotta we gotta grow ourselves up and challenge ourselves and make the choice to go and do and become a peer and do yeah. to do work along with yeah the pastor in whatever ways and that might be a lot of different things you know we're called to do different things we're called to serve maybe we're called to serve food maybe we're called to uh go and visit the people who are shut in yeah, yeah. anything uh, you know just to, to uh witness and minister to people it in in different uh interactions we have through our day and mm -hmm. in our lives because you know your pastor can't do it all you know, like, like yeah. Phil and Ian can't do everything. Like, you know, like, hey, if there's a problem, I just I can't just, like, sick Ian on it. Like, or, you know, call Phil out and be like, hey, Phil, like, you know, you need to go do this over here, clean up on aisle four. You know, like, <laughs> right? So we can, we can get the broom and the dustpan and ask God to help us clean up on aisle four ourselves. And then, you know, we can share with the and Phil or your pastor about how god helped us do that yeah you know like and and you're you know it's not fair to a pastor to just sit there and just feed a flock or congregation forever like there's got to be a point where it's like there's a good beneficial interaction that mm -hmm. takes place and that's part of the growing yeah there, it, it really is and it's <clears throat> it's and every one of us we have a we have a pulpit every one of us has a pulpit um you know i was in business for a number of years as well and it's like you know my desk was my pulpit mm -hmm. every one, we we each one of us we have in some form or fashion we each have a flock mm -hmm. and it's our sphere of influence right. the people that god allows to to be in our life that that we can that he wants to use us to impact mm -hmm. but not just to impact and influence but to build up mm -hmm. and and to help them become what God's designed them to be and, and, and to get them moving forward. Mm -hmm. And there's also parts of the game and positions in the game that God is training each one of us mm -hmm. to step into. Right. And he wants us to play that position. Mm -hmm. Not one pastor can play every position. Right. And so the job of the pastor is to train, build disciples, walk alongside, encourage, all of those things. Mm. But you know what? That's the job of every believer. Right. Is to, wait, here's a challenge, duplicate yourself. Mm. That's kind of scary to think about. <laughs> <laughs> That's a joke. <laughs> I know what you're saying. Yeah, there's only so many chads we can handle. <laughs> but really, it is. You know, if we and if we look at it like that, and I go, look, you know, man, it, I know that I'm called to duplicate myself, and and do I want to duplicate mm. who I am? Mm -hmm. And if wow. not, yeah, then you know what. This is a great opportunity to deepen your relationship with the Lord. Mm -hmm. Because if there's things that need to be changed or removed, mm -hmm. matured, mm -hmm. growth, build up, then you know what, man? Let God do that. Mm -hmm. And then ask Him to bring someone alongside you that you can walk with mm -hmm. and work with. Mm -hmm. And do you see what I'm saying? Oh, that's powerful. It really is, mm -hmm. isn't it? Yeah. And, you know, we, and we've talked in the past. We've talked about accountability. But, man, to really look at me and go, okay, I, I know God wants me to go make disciples. The Bible's clear. Mm -hmm. But what are the things that need to shift here mm -hmm. to step into that? Right. And then once you're completely uncomfortable with the thought, of training somebody else or mm -hmm. walking alongside somebody else or being the mentor, right? then ask for them. Mm -hmm. Ask God to send them to you. Wow. You know, it was last week. It was really it was really crazy. I was sitting on my porch last week, and a neighbor shows up, comes down. He's like, hey, man, I, I've been meaning to talk to you. I'm like, okay, what do you got going on? He's like, I, 
I need to ask if you'd be willing to be my mentor. Mm -hmm. So when you brought this topic up tonight, man, this is screaming in my head Mm because I hadn't told you about this. Mm -hmm. And this guy is just like, yeah, I just, I really feel like God's putting on my heart to, to ask you if you would mentor me. And then he gave a specific area, which Mm -hmm. I was like, wow, that's really neat. Yeah. You know, that's really neat. Mm -hmm. And so it's just to look at that and go, okay, he has seen my life in this area. Mm -hmm. And God is like, okay, I want you to ask him Mm -hmm. to meet you in that area so that you can become what I want you to be Mm -hmm. in that. But it's a real, you know, when we step into being a mentor or we're working to alongside someone to help build them up and to to grow them, it can be a pretty powerful mirror Mm -hmm. to look at. Right. But that's all in God's plan, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but yeah, ask. You know, I think that's one of the big things that oftentimes we forget mm-hmm. is to ask. Ask the Lord f- to send me somebody that I can help. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you know the thing about it is, is we so many times we look at things like it's a big challenge or like this big like mountain we're going to be climbing. Right, right. But really, it can it it, it could probably be enjoyable. Like, you might get some joy out of working alongside with this guy you're talking about. Absolutely. Because it's probably something that you probably know a lot about, and you're, you're you know, uh, very experienced at. You know, it's more like, more or less second nature, whatever you want to say. So it's like, it's not a difficult thing. It's maybe you might even get some joy showing them, like, walking with them and, and kind of showing them practical things yeah. about what and how you do. Absolutely, Chad. Mm-hmm. It, it's it, God has designed these things to bring us joy, right? And to encourage us. Mm-hmm. And yes, it can seem like a big mountain, but but a lot of times that's the enemy yeah. that's trying to keep you from what God has for you. Right. So what mm-hmm. He wants to give you and that that gift, and it can it can be so many different things. You know, it can it can be the maturity. It can be personal confidence right. in what God's been teaching you. Mm-hmm really is valuable and important and so valuable and important that God wants you to take that and deposit it into somebody else's life. Right. But the enemy doesn't want that. Right. So he's going to fire off at mm-hmm. keeping you as far as distanced mm-hmm. from this when we really just need to grab it and embrace it because there's a lot of great things that are in store for us in doing that. Mm-hmm. Power of choice. Right. Mm-hmm. To, yeah. to really grab a hold of it. Yeah. That choice is key. You know? It is, isn't it? On yeah. so many different things. Yeah. Because we talked a couple of weeks ago, whenever it was, about free will. Right. You know, we have free will. And yeah. this this is right along with it. <laughs> it really is. We can make that choice. We can either say, you know what, like, I don't, you know, like we could take the choice. Like, I'm not going to show anybody how to do anything, or I'm not going to do this, or I'm not going to do that, or be like, you know what? I can do this. Yes. Like I can show this person. I can work with them. I can, and I can receive joy from it. Yeah, I can. I can receive that. That it, it can be rewarding. It, it can, can feel it really. Can. Yeah, it can. It can be a huge blessing if if you choose to let it be. Mm-hmm. And it's a, it's that frame of mind. It's that mindset on how you walk in and enter it. It really is, and and you get to watch the church grow. Mm-hmm. You know, and you, you really do. It's it's really astounding. You know, mm-hmm. I, I sit I sit back and look at. <clears throat> having been here for in the area for five years but you know started pastoring and all you know about three and a half four years ago mm-hmm. and seeing in such a short amount of time the the relationships mm-hmm. that God's just really blessed me with mm-hmm. um, and the growth in me mm-hmm. um, and how that has right. transpired to see growth in others mm-hmm. um, and just sit back and, and just amazed Mm -hmm. by what God has done simply because of a choice Mm -hmm. to say okay that and the surrender Mm -hmm. that goes along with that which Mm -hmm. not easy right not easy and and it's it's one of those things too to see even in those difficult decisions Mm -hmm. and those difficult choices Mm -hmm. To see what God has done in those and to protect, to encourage, to give joy, mm-hmm. you know, all of those things, to, to bring peace in the middle of the, oh, my word, what did I just sign up for? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, that kind of, th- right. that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. Um, 
But you see God's handiwork in all of that, right. and it just flows from us. It's like, mm-hmm. you know, and I know we've talked often about the, the ripple effect and the rock in the pond, yeah. but when we say yes to the Lord, it's like he drops this rock in our pond, mm-hmm. and it ripples through our hearts, but it ends up impacting all of those people around us. Right. It mm-hmm. really does. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you know, it's like if you're if you're skilled or gifted at something or... You know, in in you you've got this feeling in your gut like like man, I can't do this. Like I'm I'm ner- really nervous about mm. it, or unsure of yourself, or whatever. You can be pretty sure that that is not of God. Yeah, right. <laughs> it, it's of it's that's the enemy working against you. Like don't do this. You know, like you yeah. can't do this. You know, like if if you're if you're if you've been very gifted and skilled at baking, let's say, or you know, whatever, serving people, whatever with food and you know like you feel like really uptight or nervous about it that's definitely the enemy not god you know trying to hold you back from it because it's like you're gifted you're skilled at this you have a lot of experience you're you know all these things you can do this Yeah. yeah so you just you know when you experience that that's when it's like okay i'm going to be confident i'm going to take this to god i'm going to be like hey look you know let's work this out Let's get this, get rid of this fear. Yeah, you know, that's right. To go on to our blessing, mm-hmm. to go on to that, you know, um, to accomplish what he wants us yeah. to accomplish. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Mm-hmm. I love how you brought up the the whole baking thing because you know as we're talking about the build up and mm-hmm. and that it, it is our responsibility to to make disciples to yeah. to pass along the things that God has taught us mm-hmm. so that others grow and and step further into their callings and purposes and, and all oftentimes you know we we start thinking of well man how do I mentor somebody or how do I work on discipling somebody well I guess you know probably need to start a bible study or I need to do something along those lines and right. and that's really not the case right. it's like the point that you just brought up Chad about the gifts and the talents that people have right baking mhm you mean to tell me that you couldn't have a, your own little baking class at a ha- at your house and just invite one or two people and then you spend time just baking because that's something that you enjoy. Right. And in that mm-hmm. comes the discipleship. Right. And mm-hmm. it just begins to just flow out. It doesn't have to be structure, sit down, come to the church, meet me at six. Right. That yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. It doesn't always have to be a formal Bible study. It you, doesn't. Right. You know, like I heard uh, one of one of our friends was talking to us about they wanted to do something like teaching kids practical things that they feel like are not being taught. Mm. Um, you know, uh, washing clothes, uh, b- cooking, balancing the checkbook. Oh, yeah. yeah. Basic stuff, just basic day-to-day routine stuff. That you know, like I guess these schools aren't teaching kids these days. Mm-hmm. Like we had home ec class. I mean, like we're old, so like we had home ec class and stuff like that. We had a basic, like when I went to high school, we had this basic like class that taught you how to like what's a checkbook, what's a bank account, like mm-hmm. you know how all these practical like home economic things, right. you know. And I guess life skills. Life skills, yes. There you go. And you know, so a friend of ours was talking about this, you know, the other day, and and it's like. And um, they were like, it would be great to do that. And it's like, yeah, I think that that would be a great thing because you can, you know, you we're being lights. Mm-hmm. We're just we're just demonstrating how to live um, with our relationship with God yeah. and how to do basic yeah. things because it can be basic small things. Sometimes those small things can build, you know, great relationships. That's right. With people, and and it's what so often is lacking. You know, like. You know, uh, I just feel like there's so many people that, you know, maybe they didn't have a grandparent or a parent Mm -hmm. that would, you know, take them fishing or teach them how to sew or whatever. Right. You know, these basic things. And it's like sometimes we make big things and and we try to do these big grand things. And sometimes God's like, it doesn't have to be this big thing. It can be a small, basic, routine thing. That can mean the world to somebody. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And and I I look at Jesus walking with his disciples. um, And and, and it's it's pictured just fantastic in in the show The Chosen. I don't know if you've watched any of The Chosen. But um, if you get a chance to watch the the show uh, The Chosen, it's a great show. And it really 
um, sh shares the point that I'm going to make here. And, and it's like, you know, Jesus just walked with his disciples mm -hmm. from one place to the next. Right. They went to visit somebody. Mm -hmm. They went to a wedding. They went here. They went fishing. They did this. And it was life. Mm -hmm. It was just life. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it's great just to invite people into your life's journey. Right. And just walk with one another. Mm-hmm. That doesn't mean you got to take everybody on vacation with you. <laughs> Phil. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, Phil's on vacation in an undisclosed beach at this point. And we're here. Yeah, we're here. But that's okay. <laughs> but it really, it's just like that. It's just life. And it's like, you know, getting together and going to lunch. It's going, you know, yeah. doing this. It's just it, doing this, doing that, going fishing, baking a cake. It, it doesn't matter. It's just one of those things of just connection. Mm hmm in life and letting God flow into all of that. Right. Mm -hmm. And we get to grow and learn and be built up. Right. As yeah. we do that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I mean, I don't know how wh how you feel, but I feel like this this is going to be the next for a lot of people. It is. I think that there's going to be, you know, there's a there like you say this generation that's coming up a uh, perfect opportunity to do yeah. these things. This generation uh this is what the next is going to be in so many cases because, you know, like in my generation, I feel like we kind of got away from a lot of that. Mm -hmm. You know, like there, a lot of people in my generation weren't spending a lot of time with grandparents. They were spending time with their Sega Genesis and their Nintendo 64 yeah, or right. whatever. You know, like I was on there playing video games and not spending time with my grandparents. And, and, and that's just an example. But there's a lot of basic things that go along in relationship building with God and, and, and yeah. with your family and friends and whatever and that sort of thing. And it's like, I think that this generation, you mentioned earlier that this generation is seeking the relationship mm -hmm. and not that um, denominational kind of thing. Those weren't your right. words. But, you know, these kids are seeking that, that relationship and it's like... Okay, so this is how we should, one of the ways that we should do it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. It, God is really driving things back to the foundations. Yeah. You know, really driving things back to the basics. Right. And <clears throat> to, to spend time with one another, to build the relationship, and that mm -hmm. comes with time. Right. You know, and it's mm -hmm. just, it's so important to really spend the time, you know, even with th the Lord reading our Bibles, mm -hmm. um, getting into communication with Him, you mm -hmm. know, in, in prayer and, and listening, but at the same time, connecting with others who are allowing Him to work in their lives. Mm -hmm. And le um, letting our hearts just really knit together. Right. Um, there, there's, there's a lot of things coming, mm -hmm. and, and we need to be knitted together mm -hmm. you know and um and seeking that relationship with the lord because he's going to lead us through these things but you you got to be in tune yeah. you've got to be in tune and, and not get blindsided or um and be battle ready mm -hmm. really do mm -hmm. but we can do it together right you know and i think that's one of the things it's not, it's not the lone gunman it's not the you know the one guy that's out there, you know, it's not the one man show anymore. Right. You know, really the, the Lord is, is putting that to rest mm -hmm. and is is wanting his body to work together, to function together, um, and and rejoice and see what see what's next, you know. Yeah. But to encourage each other along mm -hmm. the path. Mm -hmm. To really encourage each other. Yeah. And we need to do a good job of that. We do. It yeah. needs to be intentional. It does. Right? It does. And we need to have a little bit of fun along the way. No kidding. Yeah, we need to, you know, you had given a message about seeking the joy. Like, we need to purposely seek the joy yeah. earlier this year, I think it was. And it's like, yeah, we need to do that. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, so much of life is, you know, is such a downer. You know, like, we can sit here and name <laughs> all the stuff. It's tough. It, it is. It, this life is tough. Like, we were texting earlier about something, and <laughs> it's like, man, this adulting is just not all it's cracked up to be. It's not. <laughs> it isn't. You know, like, we could all sit here and complain about gas prices and electric, you know, cost of electric and food and, and all this stuff and our 401ks, whatever. But, you know, it's like we need to find some fun. Yeah. God wants us to have some fun. And I think that that's what he's getting at with all this is like, yeah. 
get let's get back to the foundations. Yeah. Get back to the basics. Let's bake some bread together. Yeah. Whatever you know, like take your kids fishing. Uh, let's do some fun stuff yeah. here along the way. This is life is not. He does not intend us to live every minute of our life like super serious and that sort of thing. We can be intentional with being in relationship with him and yeah. smiling and laughing a little bit along the way. Yeah, man, that's that's so true. And you know, even we can take a take a few minutes to just remember when we were kids mm -hmm. and. You know, when we went, whether it's a family vacation or whatever it was, right. <clears throat> it was not our job to to be concerned about what gas station are we going to stop at to fill up, mm -hmm. nor to worry about the money that right. it was going to take to fill up the gas tank yep. or the food that mm -hmm. we were going to eat. Or we didn't concern ourselves with any of those things, but mm -hmm. man, we were certainly focused on the fun. Yeah. You know, and it was just, and we, we can't forget that even in some of the tough things that we're facing in life, that we are still God's children. Yep. We're still his kids. Mm -hmm. And he enjoys seeing the smiles on our faces. Yeah. He enjoys hearing us laugh. Mm -hmm. He enjoys listen us, listening to us poke fun at each other. You know, just right. all of those things that we can really just, I was going to say let our hair down, but you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> well, I called. I compared Phil to Tom Cruise earlier. So <laughs> Phil's way better looking than Tom Cruise. I'm just saying. You know. <laughs> but it's really those things, and you're right. You know, Chad. It's like that joy mm -hmm. is the spirit of God. Right. Yeah. And we can't forget it. You're that's such a great point. Yeah, it's like at some point, you know. Yeah, it's like we are His children, and. Yeah, when you think back to those things when you were a kid, like you didn't think about the practical stuff. You didn't. You know, like, well, you know, what car did we take to get to, you know, this? Or what did we have for lunch that day or whatever? I mean, sometimes you th But, you know, like we just remember the fun we had. We yeah. remembered who we were with. That's right. There and, you go. Yeah, we remembered who we were with, that funny joke that somebody made, the funny thing that happened, so-and-so fell into the lake, whatever that we laughed about. You know, those are the things that we remember. Yeah. It's not the practical, mundane stuff necessarily. It's just, you know, and not to make it too basic, but it's like, you know, yeah, this is, we're supposed to have a little bit of fun along the way. And I think a lot of us have, you know, the enemy doesn't want us to have fun. The enemy right. doesn't want us to have joy and exactly. experience good relationships yeah. and, and good nurturing relationships. And, you know, to be, to, to view ourselves as, as children of God and all these things. So yeah, it's like yeah, not to make it super overly uh, oversimplified or over ba make it overly basic or whatever, but yeah, I mean like at some points it's like yeah, we need to kind of find that balance. We do. Mm -hmm. We do. Yeah, he wants that. Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. Yes, he does. Yeah. That's about that time. I know. I it's won't make my usual fill joke. It's about that. <laughs> it's about that time. So the build up. Yes. Though, the build up. Let's understand and know and not forget that we have been called to make disciples, mm -hmm. to mentor, to grow others, to pass along the things that, that we've learned. And there's many, many different ways on how we can do that. But first, start by asking, God, who do you want me to walk alongside with? Right. Who do you want to bring into my life that I can be used by you to pour into? Yeah. And who, who can I walk with, mm -hmm. do this life with? Yep. But then there's so many different things. Don't think that it's just only done one way. Man, God is such a master creator. We mm -hmm. know that. Let him design it. Right. Let him create it and then step into it with him. Yep. And just understand in all of it, have a good time. Have a good time. Enjoy it. Don't, you know, if you if you have fear or doubt, talk to him about that. Right. Ask him to get rid of it. That's you know, right. Like, hey, walk me, walk me out of this fear and doubt. Put me on the path. Yeah, confess it. Just yeah. like what you just speak it. Mm -hmm. Let God remove it, and and keep moving forward. There mm -hmm. are so many great things that are ahead of us that God has for us, and He's ready for us to step into this. And He's inviting us in yep. to a lot of different places to do a lot of neat different things that people will be able to see Him in it, and that will give them hope. Mm -hmm. The hope that they need. Absolutely. Thank you so much for joining with us tonight. Uh, if you have any 
questions, please let us know. If you have topics that you want us to mm -hmm. grab a hold of and watch Chad wrestle down to the ground, that would be absolutely <laughs> fantastic. Prayer requests, too. Please send those in to us. We'd love to be praying for you. Yeah. But we're just so glad that you're able to join us tonight. Absolutely. This this is about you. This is about us just sharing with you. Yeah. So this is all about you. So let us know what you want to see discussed. And, uh, yeah, be in contact with us. That sounds great. Yep. That's great. God bless. I hope everybody has a great evening. Yep. <laughs>